Hey everybody, it's uh, me, Super Paul Games, and I thought I'd want to play the manliest game I could play, and that's this one. She's got a sword. Ladies love my sword. Ho, ho, ho. That, that's not actually a penis joke. It's I actually have a Middle Ages reproduction type sword, and I know that's why you tuned in. You wanted to hear my nerd out. Hey, I have a sword. Hi, ladies. You want to see it now? Okay. Bye. I don't know what the rest of this stuff is, because I don't know how to read. I assume this is light-colored diluted blood from all the sword stabbing. Ugh. Uh, uh, uh. That, I, <laughs> it's not like I run around with my sword stabbing people. Uh, this is made with perfection. It's a visual novel. Um, usually I don't do visual novels where the um, characters are voiced already. Uh, but I make an exception for this one. Made with exception perfection. In that all the characters are voiced. Uh, except for the internal monologues of the main character slash narrator. That's the part I'll be playing live as we do this. Um, Pre-recorded. If you would like to play the game yourself, or just support the creators of the game, there should be a link in the description below. So without further a poo poo, let's play the game made with perfection. What's my name? My name is Paul. No, my name is Master Big... What the hell happened? Did I break it? Did I seriously... Oh, that's all the room? I want to be Master Big Balls. Not even room for balls? How... How you make a game where I can't put the name Big Balls in there? How about Butt? Master Butt? Uh, come on, game developers! Alright, we'll go with Master Butt. Male or female? Let me check. Oh, I'm still a man. Voiced by Alejandro Sub. Is that because you cry a lot, Alejandro? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just jealous, because you got a sexy name. Like, if you're watching a film, Alejandro's the sexy man. If you're watching a film and there's a guy named Paul, he's the nerd who knows the tech stuff. Ah, if we hug up two computers, oh, there's an alien in me. Ooh, in my butt. I was pretty sure that this story began with a meeting. Yeah. I can imagine it now, a bunch of girls waiting around until a guy shows up and gets all of their attentions. Hi, ladies, look at me. Why are you riding all so right, fast? All right, ladies, listen up. Yeah, ladies, listen up. Listen up to this guy, question mark man. The winner has been chosen. I will display their information on the board now. Show her boobs. A picture of me. Um, Don't show my boobs. A picture of me would have appeared on some sort of screen showing everyone in the room who I was. Oh, I want to know who I am. This person is a member of the lower middle class. Shut up. They will be escorted to their new estate within 24 hours. I'm not poor! Is that what you're saying? I'm not poor! Go fuck yourself. There might be some chatter, but the guy behind this uh, would stop everyone. Ahem! Now, as per protocol, we'll be accepting applications based on rank. The higher rank you are, the better chance you have of obtaining the position. Is there any... I'm pretty rank. I haven't bathed in days. I wish to apply. Ooh. You wish to apply. May I ask as to why? He interests me. I think he'll be a good master to serve. Plus, he's kind of cute. Ooh, creepy stalker girl. Marry me. Oh, wait. I came on too strong. I better change my pants. Cute? Yes. Cute. Is there something wrong with that? Is question mark man judging me? He's like, you, cute. Screw you, game! This will be your first time in the actual field. This will not be training or simple simulation. Are you positive you are up for this? Yes, I am. Very well. As the highest ranking maid in the academy, <laughs> your application will be automatically accepted. Please prepare to be moved into the estate immediately. <laughs> the pr Sorry, I was trying to drink. Uh, I'm enjoying some whiskey on the rocks. I just got kind of thrown off by the prestigious, highest-ranking maid at Maid Academy. Thank you. You're welcome. Then the story will shift to me. Who am I, you ask? Is this my beautiful car? Is this my beautiful house? Master Butt. That's my name, because I master the butt. I'm an average person. I'm not poor. Maybe a little bit. Living in a suburban town, my life is pretty boring, to say the least. It's not boring, it's amazing. I work a pretty average job. I have a guitar and a sword, and I do a damn good job at my average job, too. When I'm not working my butt off to pay the bills, that's what they call me, Master Butt, I chill out and play video games in my room. I don't play girly visual novels, I play manly story novels with swords and sexy maids and frilly outfits. 
And that's me in the outfit. What? That's my life. Yep. Yep. I can't say that my life isn't exactly unfulfilling, but I was very content with everything. I had always enough to pay my dues, and I always had extra to spend on buying games and consoles. I want consoles. Judge me all you like. It was what I wanted to do. However, one day, my life had an unexpected turn. Like, I turned left and I went to go right, and I'm like, why is there a wall here? I woke up as I usually did, dun dun dun, with a yawn, ooh, and a stretch, ow! After I stretch it some more, after rubbing my face a couple of times, and then rubbing something else, I got up, got dressed, and ate breakfast, nom nom nom. <laughs> realistic, realistic. I'm an alien replicant who doesn't really understand the English language. I just make noises that I think, um, you know, are kind of replicant of it. Meh. I didn't have much, but the cereal was good no matter what kind of day it was. Was it Mr. T cereal? I pity the foo. Yep, I didn't exactly have a lavish lifestyle. Luckily, I had the day off. It was nice to not have to work every day and to just have time to myself to chill out and recharge. That's what I'm doing. After breakfast, I went out to my mailbox and grabbed my mail. I grabbed it really firm, really firm. <laughs> I walked back into my house and sorted through the mail in my hands. Bill, Bill, coupons, magazine. Then I saw it. I received a strange letter in the mail. It was closed with a red wax seal, which should have been my first hint that something weird was going on. It was a seal like, or, or, or. I opened it and pulled out a neatly folded letter. The stationery seemed to be like a cardstock, but it had a golden trim. Second hint. Third hint was what the letter said. Is that the voice of question mark man? Salutations. If you're receiving this letter, you have been granted the opportunity to enter a society far above economic class. Are you saying I don't have any class? You saying like I'm school at school? I'm like school on Sunday. I'm so good with the jokes. Should you accept, you'll be escorted to your brand new estate and will be briefed. Don't touch my briefs. And uh, your new duties as a member of the nobility. I'm incredibly noble. I'm like the noblest dude in cod. What the hell? What is this? Some kind of chain letter prank? It's probably the Scientologists. Um, I'll keep it. I get lonely. You know, in case they come by and they want to talk about their space god for a while, I'll be like, sure, why not? I'm lonely. <laughs> I had to keep this. This would make for a very pretty, funny conversation starter at work. I folded the letter back up and slid it into my pocket. Oh, pocket, you like that? However, I suddenly began to hear the doorbell ringing. Huh? Who's that? There was no noise. We couldn't uh, spring for a doorbell ringing sound? I probably have one on my computer somewhere. Contact me, developers. I probably don't. Then I have to be like, ding dong. <laughs> I wasn't expecting anyone that day. I rushed quickly over and looked out of the pee hole. Peephole, peephole. Uh, standing there was an older gentleman dressed in a butler suit. Oh, I'm Master Button. You're a butler. If we m merge it, it would be butler, butt sex. Uh, waiting patiently for me to open the door. Cautiously, I opened the crack door a crack and peered out at the visitor. Yeah, why, why are we cautious? Because there's a rash of guys walking around in butler outfits mugging people. Can I help you? Yes, I've come to receive your answer about the invitation you have received today. Oh, what? Was this guy for real? First of all, I just got the letter and opened it less than a minute ago. Second, the letter doesn't even make sense. This could... It didn't really be happening, could it? You must have the wrong person. I believe I do have the right person. If you don't wish to accept the invitation, please just say so. We've already arranged your mansion for an immediate move-in, and it would be a shame for it to be left empty. The guy who in the question mark voice reminds me of... Oh, I can't think of him. He used to be on SNL. But I should have found the voice thing. None of this made sense. I was getting a mansion? I already had a house. What was this, the lottery? Why was I chosen? How did I even get chosen? Wait, wait. All right, so I go to the mailbox. I take out this letter and I open it and it's like, you get to be in nobility and high society. Knock, knock, knock. Hi, I'm the guy. This guy put it in the mailbox and he was hiding behind the bushes probably waiting for me to get it. He's gonna watch me sleep or poop in the mansion, isn't he? The man continued to stare at me through the crack in the door patiently awaiting my answer. I really didn't know how to answer him. Was, was, was this really happening? Look, a guy doesn't come over to you, offer you to let you be in the nobility, and have a mansion of your own, unless he wants to put it in your butt or there's some sort of catch. So what's the catch, bro? The catch. Yeah. What's the catch? I mean, what's the price for this? I'm not getting punked, right? He wants to put it in your butt. Ah. 
Well, should you say yes, you'll be moved immediately into your new estate. You will have a maid and no extra duties to attend to while you live there. Uh, what about my job? I need food. I can't eat the maid, or can I? No extra duties? Are you serious? Very serious. You will be briefed in detail about your new life should you accept, but only if you accept. Can you brief me about my current life? I want to hear about what games I played today. This was ridiculous. How was this even happening? Um, well, I can tell him to leave. If I tell him to leave, that's the end of the story. In real life, I would tell him to leave. <laughs> In real life, I'd be like, get the fuck out of here, you pervert. But since we're we're taking an adventure living through this man who has a different voice than me, Alejandro. Okay. I was not sure what came over me, but this had to be more than just a dream. Was this just fantasy or was this reality? Uh, there was no way this could be fake. The letter was real. The guy at my door was real. Our main character here is just asking to be trapped in a Ponzi scheme or something. Well, the guy said he really does need a million dollars for his um, Nigerian mind. Then he'll give the money back. That seems real. It's a real email. And I was pinching myself ouch, uh, in case it wasn't. The man nodded before stepping back and gesturing to the driveway where a luxury car awaited us. It looked very expensive and I suddenly felt very poor looking at it. I'm not poor! Well, what about... Everything will be explained in the car, master. Are you gonna touch me? I looked to the guy before looking to the car. Then I looked to the guy. Then I looked to the car. Then I said, look in my eyes. This all seems surreal. It was ridiculous to say the very least. Why the hell was I even going through with this? I'm bored. I got nothing to do. Friggin' YOLO! Ah! I mentally noted to slap myself for thinking that later. Ow! I really hit myself. That was a bad idea. I quickly excused myself to get dressed. No, I just go in there, like, naked. Like, don't get your butt in the seat. I'm like, I'm master butt. I get my butt wherever I want. Uh, what? To get dressed before leaving the house and entering the car. The seats was... Dun, 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 dun. Poor grammar. The seats were plush... Leather, and then I can't read the word leather. Dun, 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 illiteracy. I don't know how to read. And the air conditioning was the perfect temperature. There was an unopened bottle of champagne and glasses to drink from, as well as cans of soda. Should I not want alcohol? Why would you not want alcohol? Oh, let's all get drunk. There was a giant flat screen TV installed in the partition, or by the partition. Was this how rich people drove around? Warren Buffett, are you back here? Uh, the guy who led me to the car entered the driver's seat and began to drive off. Lowering the partition to speak to me. Well, at least he's not going to molest me. Your belongings will be brought to the mansion within the next 12 hours. We'll make sure to gather everything and clean everything out of your own establishment. Wait, seriously? I got to keep my stuff? Sweet! Why wouldn't I get to keep my stuff? I mean, I could upgrade my consoles now that I was a noble, but it was good to be able to keep my old things and not have to start fresh. What about my job? Will I have to quit or something? We have already taken the liberty of communicating with your overseers and efficiently removed the need for you to continue your employment. Alright, that is a little weird that they called my boss up and said that I'm quitting my job. What if I wouldn't have said yes to them? I would have been so fucked. What? That was quick? Were they expecting me to say yes? I leaned back against the leather seat and fought Then and... what is my job? I need to work to keep money, right? Having employment is unnecessary. You will be automatically provided financial backing for anything you require from a private investor involved with the government. What? Wait, the government is involved with this? Yes. You are not entering regular nobility. You are entering a small elite group of nobles created by the government as an economic and political experiment, backed financially by a very powerful investor. Illuminati confirmed! Experiment? Was this an experiment? What kind of experiment? I was getting lost, but the guy continued. I grew more and more wary of this. This had a bad mojo. This had bad mojo written all over it. So I just had to be a rich person. No job, no worries. This was obviously a dream come true, but at the same time, it was beyond odd. Is there anything else I should know? You will have a personal maid who will be in charge of cleaning, cooking, and general duties around the house. Will she wipe my butt for me? What a maid? That's awesome! The situation became a little better, and I, but I became curious about her. A personal maid? Yes. Currently, she is the best in her field, training-wise. This is her first time out of training, so we'll be monitoring her for a few months to ensure she is doing her duties properly. She's only the best from Maid Training Academy, you know. 
maid training, and I wondered how that worked out, especially in today's modern age. I mean, maids were commonly known, but usually maids went into the field out of pure need for money. I felt kind of bad thinking about having a personal maid. As if the driver read my mind, he continued to blab on. She is one of many who wanted the position to serve you. Ew, dude, are you saying you want to go down on me? Because if so, this is not the way to broach it. Wait, she wanted to serve me. There's a bunch of maids who wanted to work for me. What? Where is this fantasy world? I want to be in it. Yes. We have a small academy, per se, of maids who train to be the best in their field. We then offer opportunities to be hired into an elite noble house to be part of the project. Are they paid by the government? No. They essentially live to serve and are provided shelter and food from the place they serve. Don't worry, though. Each maid goes through serious psychological assessment to ensure that they are 100% on board with this career before they even start training. You mean so basically they're slaves? That doesn't seem morally correct. So, they become maids out of their own free will? Very much so. We pride ourselves in providing consensual servitude for this country and its needs. Many would claim maids and servants are forced into the business. We wish to show these people that that isn't always the case. Alright, this is really, really, really shady. Is this like white slavery? <laughs> it was kind of true. Maids and servants were very much underappreciated and looked on as the bottom of the barrel or even scandalous. Yeah, if we feel so bad for them, why are they going to work for us for free? I guess it was kind of good to see that there was a group committed to showing servants in a positive light. You'll be able to view the entire house before your maid arrives, but please, do not worry. The house has been cleaned and prepped for your arrival. How did I even have time to worry? I didn't even know I was getting a house till this morning. Uh, th thanks? I guess? It was, I was both excited and anxious. This was going to be a whole new experience, and I could not wait to start this new life. After a while, we arrived at the private airport, and I was flown in a direction I couldn't calculate. What? What? What are you, some freaking nerd? By this airspeed in our general direction, I can tell we're over Oklahoma. Maybe it was all on purpose, but all I knew was that I was flown over a large stretch of forest, land glittered with noble houses. And when we touched down, I was guided into another car and was driven to my house through a paved forest path. I passed by multiple mansions and could not stop myself from staring at them until the trees blocked my line of sight. How was this place not marked on the map? I don't... Maybe it is. We don't know where we are, so how would we know what the maps are? I don't... You know, just because we haven't seen a Google Maps car around. I don't remember ever hearing about this patch of area in history classes or on the news. How was this place so well hidden? Finally, we stopped at the front of a large mansion, which I had to assume was mine. Holy crap. That is huge. That's what the ladies say in my dreams. I had to open the window to look out, the, look out at the size of the mansion. It was like the celebrity mansions I saw on TV. Whoa. How the heck did I win this? Whoa. A nationwide lottery. We simply picked your name out of a large selection of names. You said I'm not special? Is that what you're saying? Because that's what my mom tells me every day. Seriously, a lottery? I was that lucky? You're not going to steal my kidneys, are you? Because I need those for booze. Well, I guess I shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. Nay, you shouldn't. Aren't you supposed to be another LP? Just ride me. <laughs> the guy who was leading me everywhere exited the car and opened my door for me, allowing me to exit the car and see the grandeur of my new home. I decided to climb up on the large mansion steps and head for the front door. Before I could reach the knob, that's what a midget said once. I can't reach your knob. Oh. What? However, the guy who led me here rushed over and opened the door for me, showing that it was unlocked. I nodded to him before stepping inside. This is seriously mine? I think this is where we're going to end off. End up. Whatever. In our brand new mansion, <laughs> that we were brought to you by a creepy guy who I think is going to touch us in the ball sack when we sleep. Uh, stay tuned next time, everybody, when we'll have more Made With Perfection. Thanks for hanging out.